Hey guys, McSan here with another movie trailer reaction. This is actually the trailer for the live action adaptation of the latest Tomb Raider reboot games. And well, sweet. Okay, I saw, I remember watching the original Tomb Raider movie, the one with, uh, oh, why, An Angelina Jolie. I remember like liking it, though. I haven't seen it in years, though. So, for all I know, my opinion could uh, another viewing, uh, another viewing of that, and I could see that and love and like what the? F I actually thought this. Wow, I was an idiot as a kid. But anyhow, this is the reboot here, Warner Brothers. So let's take a look at it. Okay. Okay. Beginning. Now. Yeah. Okay, I like the. Lara, your father's gone. You can pick up where he left off. I see so much of him in you. Brilliant. Hello, Sprout. Alright, she's looking like at finding her father's legacy. I go right. Mother of death? If Trinity succeeds, Trinity. Let me, oh, the organization name. Classic. I promise. Huh. I think I know where my dad went. That's right in the middle of the Devil Sea. It will be an adventure. Death is not an adventure. Ah, oh, yeah. Captain Hook would uh, argue against that. Alright, the devil. Okay, that's from the game itself. They're recruiting a set piece, but a little differently. Oh, shit. I'm glad that you did. Legend? Oh. Oh, guy survives. Oh. Oh, yes. Climb the climbing hook. Is Laura Croft? Mm -hmm. Well, Academy Award winner. Can't be too careful these days. The world has got bloody mad. I'll take two. I'll take two. What? Wow, something. Okay, let's begin here. The it opened up with Laura Croft. She was running, obviously, with a bow and arrow. So that's something. But then we saw her. I'm, I'm guessing in like the beginning of the movie, where she returns from after a long hiatus to her family's company. Anyone else thinking Iron Fist here? But anyhow, uh, yeah, so... She finds a puzzle box, which I'm guessing is was her father's. Solves it, and finds a key, and it... and Finds out where... what it opens exactly, or where it's supposed to go, and... Finds her father's, like, uh, secret study, basically. And continues off where he left off. And we get like, they're trying, okay, okay, this, this is where, this is where I'm worried here. They're clearly trying to be something a little different from the reboot games. At least from the first game. I haven't played Rise of the Tomb Raider yet. But they're copying set pieces. Like the whole situation with the boat. It was like a copy of copy of that of the of how the game opened up when they when the boat split in two and they're lost in the inside the dragon's triangle. The only difference was that the bow of the ship was completely gone, and so when she jumped off just into open sea, and she walked ashore and is instantly assaulted 
and capture. But there's a lot of similarities, and also the devils, the devil seed. Also, um, I maybe it's just me. It's, it's probably just me entirely. But this new, but this actress, uh, God, I'm bad with na act with actors, actors and actresses' names, people. So let me just let me look her up here. Um, um. Ali, Alicia, I'm gonna, I'm so gonna butcher her name here. Alicia Vikan, Vikander. Well, she definitely has the build. The build of Laura Croft, especially like a young Laura Croft. She doesn't look like Laura Croft. Especially when she has her hair tied back. I'm worried. Also, that, that scene at the end where she, where the guy... She gets guns, like, I'll take two. It's like... In... Again, I go back to the game. And how it is she acquired her twin pistols. It kind of made sense. Like, she earned those pistols. She earned the right to dual wield. Here, it's quite clear that going the whole... She's young, inexperienced. She's got some training, obviously. She's got some survival skills, but this is going to be her... Real first adventure. I don't mean it, it's got some nice set pieces, but again, the problem is a lot of those is like copying the game practically shot for shot, almost yeah, until the very end. I mean, there's even the one where she like tries to grab a parachute uh, from a from a plane. It's like that's from the first game as well that, that I play where she was desperate and I wouldn't see though I gotta admit I am interested to see that, that, that if they do create the part where she falls gets impaled on the side by that rusty metal rebar and then cauterizes the, the wound with a burning arrow tip I mean that's hardcore right there if they can capture that like intensity that's a point that's a good point in and of itself in my opinion but yeah okay so here I can guess that she's basically she is basically uh, going off like retreading her father's footsteps trying to find out what happened to him and in that scenario gets in trouble, which is which is standard in, a, in an adventure movie like this. I mean, you can't have Indiana Jones without or Nathan Drake without them getting in some sort of trouble for, for the, all of their for all their like globe trotting. But yeah, there are so many ways this can go right. And so many ways that can go, this can go just horribly, horribly wrong. But we won't see Tomb Raider again for another decade or so. Well, in the, in the past we have known that trailers lie. So, I'll just wait and see until the movie comes out. And, uh, you know, Alicia may surprise me, may... She has to convince me that she is Laura Croft. The same way as Laura Croft in Tomb Raider has convinced me she was Laura Croft. I mean, she even, like how she even said in, in, the, in the game, I don't think I'm that kind of Croft. That's all I can say. So, people, thank you all for watching my reaction and my thoughts on this trailer. Comment down below what you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Ooh, sorry. There's a link to this video in the description box down below, and I have got to play Rise of the Tomb Raider! Well, until then, this is Mixon, logging out.